In this video, I will show you how to resize an image in Photopea. If you do have any questions or comments regarding this tutorial, feel free to drop that down in the comment section down below the video. And with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So here we are, as you can see on photop.com. Now what I've done, I've just gone ahead and added my logo. So this is the image that we're going to be resizing. Now in order to do this, what you're gonna to want to do first is come across to the right hand side. And on this menu, you first want to make sure that you've selected the image that you want to resize. So all I'm gonna do is click onto this to go ahead and select my logo. So once you've done that and you've got the image selected, come up to the top left hand corner and what you wanna do is click on to edit. And from here, what you're gonna to want to do is come down and you can either just do a transform. So if you hover over this menu, you can see you can do things like, for example, rotate 90 degrees, you can flip horizontally, flip vertically, and so on and so forth. However, what we wanna do is select this one here, which is free transform. You can also do this by holding Alt, Control, and T on your keyboard. So that's the shortcut to go into free transform. Once that's done, you're gonna see a border appear around your image. So to go ahead and resize, all you need to do is you can see all these different squares and and if we actually hover over them, the cursor is going to change to this arrow icon. So now what we need to do is hold down your left mouse button and what we can do is just go ahead and resize our image, just like so. So that is how to resize an image in Photop. With that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you watched, consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just wanna take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.